Don't read your writing, but I think it's a very important um, gesture for us to take. This is really the birthday, and that's what we're celebrating. All Australians, everybody in this room, should reflect on the lives of women that seem to be permanently marked by deep and, and deepening sense of tragedy and injustice. Women such as Aung San Suu Kyi and countless other thousands of other Burmese women are some of these people. For decades, Aung San and her Burmese sisters have undergone systemic cruelty, political persecution and imprisonment in the case of Aung San, and in the case of her Burmese sisters, acts of criminal brutality, torture, rape and displacement in the hands of a harsh, cruel and totally dominant Burmese military government. There have been, and I'm putting it in quotes, elections in Burma this year. But we should not take heart and be fooled into believing that these elections were free or fair or that things are really improving in a fundamental way. The election has really further entrenched the military at the heart and centre of power in Burma. The new constitution must be one of the harshest and most unfair constitutions anywhere in the world. For this reason, the elections will be void has, have been boycotted by many, including Aung San Suu Kyi, who opposed the regime. But it puts the, the commander of the defence services right at the centre of power in Burma, just as he always has been, and believe me, it's always a man. Secondly, the constitution wipes clean the, the slate of all previous crimes committed by the military. All members of the military are given complete amnesty for their past crimes, but none of their opponents are. This includes an amnesty for sexual violence, torture and many other crimes against humanity. Military experience is now a prerequisite for eligibility to become president under the new constitution. So women are excluded. But just in case Aung San wasn't quite getting the message clearly enough, anyone who has a spouse or children who are not Burmese citizens are ineligible to stand. That completely precludes her as her late husband and her two adult children are British subjects. So the Burmese military continues to play a central role in political life. What can we do? Well, we can do the things that Janelle has mentioned, but we can also, in a wider sense, seek action from the UN Security Council. That council can invoke its powers and refer a situation to a commission of inquiry to see whether offences reported to date by the UN agencies do in fact, prima facie, constitute international crimes which are a threat to the peace. The Security Council took these steps in, in relation to the Sudan, Sudan and the former Yugoslavia. The rhetoric about tragic Burmese situation has been ramping up in the General Assembly, but that, as so many other things seem to be to people outside, seems to be a, almost a painfully slow process. Nothing much has really happened. Since 2008, the UN reporters have noted an escalation of the level of human displacement through the destruction of villages and relocation of the population, mostly in eastern Burma. And with that, human displacement usually follow acts of violence, including rape. The Security Council should be strongly encouraged by the international community to refer the situation to a commission of inquiry. What else can we do? We can commemorate and celebrate the birthday and the life of one of the bravest and most determined heroes in the living, living in the world today. She has given up many of the experiences that most people in this room have had and we take for granted, such as spending time with their families um, and, living, and living a life together with your life partner and husband or wife. Though decision, the, through the decisions she has taken to be a great national leader and beacon of freedom for her country, these experiences, these normal, regular human experiences have been denied to her. Happy birthday, Aung San Suu Kyi. May you have many years ahead and may they be a lot happier than last 20 have been. Thank you very much.